Hello, my front porch friend. Well, we are in one of our favorite places to be today, down at the rock hole. I really just don't know how this day could be much more beautiful. But I have a word from the Lord for you. So I'm going to find me a good little place to sit right here so I can share it with you. I've been up with the Lord since early this morning just seeking Him as to what He was saying. Uh-oh, let me get Palmer distracted. Palmer, go get it, buddy. Go get it. That was close. <laughs> okay, now, back to this word. So, I've been up with the Lord since early this morning. And this is what I heard the Lord say to you and to me. You need to come out of agreement with some things that you have come into agreement with. See, we don't realize how powerful our words of agreement are. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 18, 19, if two of you shall agree on earth is touching anything we ask, well, we're on earth, so that's for you and me, as touching anything that we ask, it will be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Well, knowing that that's true in the realm of God's will and all things good, I believe our words of agreement can also produce things in the realm of things that are not the will of God. They can empower things that are not good for us. See, knowing that we've been made in the likeness of our Father because we are like Him in so many ways, just like God's words, the things that God says, His words are so powerful that they created everything that we see around us. Like His words are powerful, our words are powerful. In Genesis 1, when God was creating everything, God said and God said and it was. So for you and me, and we speak, and it is. See, that's why, was it, it's, it's Proverbs 21, 18, I believe, that says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Think about this as it pertains to God's words. Isaiah 55, 11 says, and I mean, let me quote it the way God said it. He said, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it will not return to me void. He said, it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the thing where unto I sent it. Well, knowing that's true of our Father, could it be true of us? So shall our words be that go forth out of our mouth. They will not return to you and me void. In other words, those things, those, those things that we are speaking, those words, they are going to come back to us, bringing us whatever we have spoken. Now that's concerning. Because knowing that the options that we have, the only options we have are life or death, then that means every word that we speak, we are either coming into agreement with life or we're coming into agreement with death. Oh, I don't want to agree with the enemy on anything. I don't want to agree with the devil on nothing in my life. So, I have to get up. Brother Palmer has joined the service again. So, right there. Now, here's how easy this happens. Before we know it, we are agreeing with the enemy in simple little easy ways that have caught us off guard. That's usually how it works, isn't it? It can happen in just simple conversations that we're having with people, just random people. I've done it myself, and I've been checked in my spirit about it. Like you'll just be trying to be nice. So you're just talking to people, and maybe they're saying, it could be a family member, it might be your spouse. And you're, they're saying things like, you know what, we're just not going to make it. I've seen our finances. Our, there's just not enough. We don't have enough. And we're sitting over there going, I don't either. I don't know how we're going to make it either. I agree. Or maybe somebody's saying stuff like, um, you know what, did you hear the doctor's report? Yeah. Yeah, they said that um, 
that there's no cure for this. I'm just going to have to, to learn to, to live with it for the rest of my life. Wherever they're going, well, I hate that. I mean, while that may be true, I mean, I believe that, you know, there's there's medicine for it. And, and there's things that, you know, that, that, that may be true. I know I, we just agree with it. Or maybe you're saying stuff like, you know, oh, I heard about your daughter and, and or your son and the decisions they've made. Well, kids will be kids and you just got to let them be kids. And you can't, you know, you can't control them. And you're just finding yourself saying, well, that's true. I agree. I know. I'm just going to have to let them do what they're wanting to do. Or maybe they're saying, well, you know, this whole world, it's just getting worse by the day. I mean, you can be standing in Walmart and hear that. Oh, it's just, oh, what's going to happen next? You know, I just feel like I've got this old heaviness on me. I just can't seem to shake it every day. I just feel heavier and heavier when I look at how dark this old world is getting. And you can find yourself saying, I know it. I agree. It's just awful. You just never know what's going to happen next. Well, whenever you are agreeing with this, these kind of words, you are in, you're coming into agreement with the enemy. You need to recognize what voice you are agreeing with just in simple ways of even sometimes just trying to be nice. Yeah, I know. I agree. I know. Isn't that the truth? Well, no, it doesn't have to be. It's not the truth if it's not God's will. So don't say it's the truth and don't agree with it. You know, sometimes these conversations are not even with people. Sometimes it's just conversations that you're having in your own mind. It's just thoughts that come into your mind. You know, sometimes people ask me, well, how do you hear from God? Well, there's many ways you hear from God. But one of the ways I love to hear from God is I've noticed it's a thought I didn't think. It's like a thought that I had that I didn't think. I didn't think it just a thought. Well, that can be also true of the enemy. And you're sitting there, and if you start hearing a thought, see, I always know it's my father's voice if it's going to uplift, if it's edifying, if it's encouraging, if it's, if, even if it's correction, there's love in it. But if it's bringing me shame, if it's telling me I'm never enough, if it's telling me old negative stuff, if it's all down and hopeless, then I know it's the voice of the liar. And I'm not going to come into agreement with that. I've got to recognize that. But see, what happens is when sometimes when those old negative thoughts are coming in our mind, we're just down, down. We start meditating on that, meditating on that. It's like I tell you all the time, what you meditate on is what you believe. And what you believe is what you receive. Mm -hmm. No wonder Jesus said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Because see, what, what you start meditating on, a thought that gets in your head that you just start meditating on and meditating on drops down deep into your heart. And once it gets down deep into your heart, it comes out of your mouth. And when it comes out of your mouth, it's heard by people. It's heard by the spirit realm. It's released to go be activated. Once it comes out of your mouth, it's even heard by you. And remember what I tell you, it's, it's going to be one or the other. It's life or death. It's, it's faith or fear. And faith comes by hearing the word. When you speak the word, faith is built because that's what you hear. If you're speaking those doubt things, if you're speaking words of hopelessness, what's going to happen? Fear. You're going you're to produce fear because that's what you're hearing. That's what you're coming into agreement with. Today, I believe the Spirit of the Lord has brought me to tell you, you need to break agreement with some things that you have come into agreement with because those things are affecting your life in ways that you don't even know. You have empowered some things to be released in your life. That's not the will of God for your life, but it's not too late, sweetheart. You can break agreement with those things. You say, well, how do I do that? Well, today, just, just get up. I've been doing this today. I've just been saying, you know what? Just even, even let the Lord just remind you of maybe some conversations you've been in. And you just need to say, in the name of Jesus today, I break agreement with lack. In the name of Jesus, I break agreement with hopelessness. In the name of Jesus, I break agreement with the thought that things will never change or that things will be different or that we won't be taken care of. In the name of Jesus, I break agreement with the 
fear that says my daughter is not coming home, that my daughter will never change. I break agreement with that. I break agreement with the lie that says that my son will, will never be come off of these drugs and never break this addiction to pornography. I break agreement with those lies. I break agreement. I break the agreement of every conversation I've had. I break the agreement of every thought that I've dwelt on and meditated on. I break the agreement of those things in Jesus' mighty name. And then, sweetheart, listen, you need to watch the conversations that you are having, okay? You say, well, what am I going to say to people? I want to be nice. I don't want to be rude. You don't have to be rude to speak the word. Whenever they're saying stuff like, well, you know, I don't know how we're going to make it financially. We're not going to make it. I look at our bills. We're not going to make it. You just come back with, don't say, don't say, I know. No, you say, well, thank God that the word of the Lord says that he will supply all of our needs. Thank God that it says, you know, that he will make a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you, Lord, for the power of your word. Isn't that wonderful that God has said that to us? Yes, that's how you come back. If they say to you something like, I heard what the doctor said, there's no cure for what you're dealing with, and you're just going to have to live with it the rest of your life. I, I, I've heard about that, but you just come back and say, whew. I'm so thankful that the promise of God has told me, though, that the, Jesus has already borne my infirmities and carried my sickness and, and, and diseases, and by his stripes I've been healed. I just, that's the word I choose to believe. You know, and you can look at him and say, you know what, let me tell you the promise I've come into agreement with. Just share with him your promise. Even if it's the doctor that's come in the room and told you what his report is. You say, well, okay. I hear the natural report, but let me tell you the word that I'm agreeing. Let me tell you what the promise that I'm believing. Just go ahead and share it even if you don't want to hear it. If somebody tells you, you know what? Oh, I've heard about that daughter. I've heard I hate it so bad about your kids. You say, well, let me tell you, God has given me a promise. Woo it's like he's given me so many promises. Can I share one of them with you? Isaiah 49, 25. Don't wait for them to say yes. Just say, can I share one with you? Isaiah 49, 25. The captive of the warrior will be released. The plunder of the tyrant will be retrieved. I will fight those that fight you and I will save your children. Isn't that a glorious promise? You just say that. If you're standing in the line at Walmart and people are just talking about how bad the world is, oh, you just look at them and say, you know what? I know it may be true that it, it looks bad right now, but what if we didn't have God? And say it loud enough for the whole line to hear. What if we didn't have God? Wouldn't that just be, I can't imagine living like it without hope. Just thank God that we have his presence, that he is our refuge. So you know what, y'all? I know one thing. Knowing God's in charge and he's in control, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that we're going to be all right. You speak that to your family. You speak that to the office. You speak that at Walmart. You speak that everywhere you go. And people will never forget the person that stood up for truth. I believe that. Oh, the word of God is strong. I want to sing you a little song I heard for you today. I don't know it real well, but we sing it at the ramp sometimes. And I heard the Lord just singing this over you. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> it says this. I come out of agreement with the lie that you have left me on my own. I am not alone. I come out of agreement with the worry and the fear I've come to know. They won't have a hold on me. I come into agreement with the truth. You are who you say you are. I can trust your heart. I come into agreement with what heaven has declared over my life. Because I know that you fight for me. Protector, you never, never, never let me go. You said you wouldn't leave me and you won't. You're right by my side. Protector, you hide me in the shadow of your wings. Your presence is my peace, my covering, 
my song in the night. Protector. He's going to protect you. Father, my friend and I come out of agreement with every lie of the enemy that we have somehow come into agreement with. Lord, we break the power of that agreement. And Lord, today we come into agreement with every promise you have given us. We come into agreement with the promise that let us know our daughter is coming home. My son is coming home. My marriage is going to survive. It's going to make it. Thank you, Father. We come into agreement with your word that promises we don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Financially, you're going to provide for us because you are where our help comes from. You are God. We break agreement with every lie otherwise. In Jesus' name, we break agreement with fear. We break agreement. We break agreement agreement with hopelessness, Father, and we come into agreement with your perfect love. We come into agreement with your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I come into agreement that you're my healer and that there is nothing too hard for you. I come into agreement with what you said over my body in Jesus' name. You say that right now, sweetheart, in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you comment below right now and say, I come into agreement with and then say what it is maybe say i come into agreement with my healing i come into agreement for my my the return of my prodigal i come into agreement with god's word maybe you just want to say i come out of agreement with fear or i come out of agreement with lack you declare in these comments below the change of heart that you have just had because we are breaking every agreement that we have come into that was against the will of god I love you, sweet friend. I will be here next week again. Until then, keep declaring the promises of your Father. In Jesus' name.